Back in July, there were huge celebrations for the 50th anniversary of Apollo 11, moon landing and the roles played by the satellite dishes at Parks and Tid Manila out here in Australia. But there is another small Australian town that figures large in history of NASA. It's where an enthusiastic amateur stargazer has been talking to astronauts and cosmonauts for more than 30 years. Our Paul Marshall has more. Kingston is a coastal town about three hours from Adelaide. Whoa! Home of the Big Lobster. <coughs> and a house with big aerials all over it, pointed to space. Tony Hutchison's Earth Station. VK 5ZA, I calling uh, copy through, over. That's my radio call sign. I've had it for, uh, well, it'll be 60 years next year. VK 5ZA, or Victor Kilo 5. Zulu Alpha India. Ground control to Major Tom. Tony is an amateur radio operator, which sounds a lot less professional than he really is. And for 30 years, he's been talking to astronauts aboard shuttles and space stations. Tony, here we are. Over. What sort of things do you talk to them about? Alex uh, Serebrov on the Russian space station. Uh, he wanted to know the cost of various things uh, in Australia because he would have loved to have migrated. So well, I finished up by quoting that a, uh, that a good bottle of vodka would cost you about $20, but he thought that was a real rip-off. <laughs> <laughs> in 1998, he used to talk to Australia's Andy Thomas during his four-month stay on Russia's Mir station. Have you got a copy, Andy? Over. Mia was ditched into the South Pacific in 2001 and the American space shuttles are gone. It's the International Space Station Tony talks to now. Tony, this looks like mission control. <laughs> well, it's a, it's a baby version, I suppose, of mission control. What's this? That's uh, the tracking computer, and that is where the space station is at this very moment. Who's this? That's uh, Bill MacArthur. Where'd you get the hat? That belonged to uh, Bill Shepard, the first commander, and uh, he gave it to me. Uh, it's We worked it out. It's done approximately 93 million miles uh, <laughs> in the time he was up there. So did you build all these, all the yeah. antennas? And yeah, built that one in uh, 1990. It's uh, driven by uh, two windscreen wiper motors, <laughs> believe it or not. It's unique. It's the only one in this world. <laughs> With all his space talk, Eventually, NASA called up and asked Tony if he could help with a program putting schools in touch with astronauts. Our group is called ARIS, Amateur Radio on International Space Station. You can actually play space ping pong. There you go, we can have games on a Saturday and play space ping pong. Has NASA got you on the payroll? Unfortunately, uh, no, we're volunteers. Uh, uh, the cheapskates. Yeah, every now and again they threaten to double our, uh, double our salary and uh, <laughs> nothing, uh, plus nothing is nothing, of course. Tony and his wife Jill were invited to see a space shuttle launch, though. It's up to you. I've just got to uh, make a note of that. They've been married since before man landed on the moon. 56 years. It's yeah. coming February, I think. Two life sentences. <laughs> <laughs> Jill's a great book reader, and uh, I suppose we did our courting uh, in the little radio shack I had on the farm, and uh, she'd read a book, and uh, I'd talk to my mates on the radio. Tony's 80 now, and at the end of the year, he's retiring. Says he is, anyway. Well, we want to take a year off, do a little bit of travelling and a little motor home. Can you talk to space from here? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Of course you can. You haven't found any aliens out there, have you? No, but it's a question a lot of the kids ask, actually, and uh, a lot of the uh, a lot of the astronauts. I've never heard an astronaut say there's not anyone else out there. They always say they've never seen anyone, but they say they always often wonder. We're only just a speck in the universe. Would you have liked to have been an astronaut? Oh, my word, yeah, <laughs> yeah. 
I thought that, yeah. Tony. Wow, that is cool. Powered by a couple of windscreen wiper so motors. Good. That is fantastic. Love that.